When describing lighting, the first thing that I like to talk about is just the functionality of lighting. Um, and the best way to think about it in terms of a real world example is that when you come home late at night, the first thing that you do is flip on the light so you can see in front of you and see what you're doing. So we have lights that serve a functional purpose. Basically, they're working lights. All of the departments upstream, layout, set dressing, shading, animation, they all use it so they can see what they're doing. But if you were going to watch a whole movie with just these white lights, it'd probably be pretty boring. Um, it's not very interesting to look at, um, and it doesn't do anything to really pull you into the world that the characters are existing in. So when we're starting to construct a scene, we don't even start with uh, the white camera lights here. We just start from a blank slate. So where I like to start is with the key light. I knew that the center of attention would be here where the kids are, so I wanted to focus on that area, make that the brightest part of the composition. The other motivating light source is the big blue sky, and basically it serves as this big blue fill. Um, and so that's the next thing that I add in. But the scene is still dark. It still has areas of black um, that are not really quite being filled in enough. So then we place in some light kind of bouncing up from these bright areas on the ground. And then there's our final scene. <laughs> Brad, Lou and I, we get together and talk about what is the story point? What's the mood? What are we trying to support or what are we trying to communicate? Bob in the office, obviously he's not having the best time of his life. Um, we definitely chose for this to be the most monochromatic scene to show this is not the most joyful place for him, um, as opposed to later um, when things are looking up for him, he's feeling a little bit better about himself. We have sunlight washing in, everything's golden to support that part of the story. And then here's Bob in the torture sequence where Syndrome has captured him and the lighting is kind of a cool sickly color like it's not a very pleasing cool it's kind of sterile here of course is how it was lit for the movie but just giving a different example what if uh, we decided to light this warm and a little less contrasty obviously approaching it this way it looks more pleasant than what we really want to communicate which is a high conflict unpleasant situation all of these things kind of go in to communicate the story point and help us to heighten the emotional impact of a scene using light. 